researching how to rebuild credit? Dwayne here with How to Build Credit TV, and in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can use a secured credit card to rebuild credit. But before we get started, I have a quick Once again, my name is Dwayne with How to Build Credit TV. This channel offers 100% free information about how to build credit, how to get cash back, actual cash money from using credit cards, as well as credit card reviews. So if this sounds like something in which you're interested, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. All right, when it comes to rebuilding credit, there are several things that you can do. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the exact steps that I took to rebuild my credit. As a matter of fact, I use secured credit cards to rebuild my credit. Using the secured card and several other steps actually got my credit from 518 to a little over 700, which is what it is right now. So using a secured credit card is actually very helpful in rebuilding credit. There are a lot of secured credit cards out there. However, I'm going to suggest this one card in particular which was the very first secured credit card that I have. Currently I have three. I have a Capital One. Well, I'm sorry, I had a Capital One. I have a different card now. I actually have the Saver card with Capital One. I upgraded my uh, secured credit card from that account to the Saver account with Capital One because I really wasn't using that card because there's no rewards. Um, I basically only use credit cards now that actually offer some kind of cash back or some kind of reward program where I can redeem something. So I had a Capital One card, which is what I'm going to recommend. I have a Discover card and I have a Citibank card. Now, I really don't necessarily need to still be getting secured credit cards right now. Um, I just did it because I was able to control the amount of money that I would have as far as the limit. So what I did was I just went ahead and got a secured credit card because I knew that that was one way that I could make my credit limit higher, which would in turn lower my credit utilization. I talk more about credit utilization in other videos. So I'm gonna be talking in this video mostly about the Capital One Secure Card. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hop on over to my computer and show you guys um, how powerful this card is and why I decided to get it when I first got started with getting secured cards in order to rebuild my credit. All right, so we're at the Capital One website and I just wanted to show you guys what to expect when you're actually ready to start um, the process as far as getting started with Capital One. So this particular card is, it says right here at the top right of the screen, it says credit level rebuilding, okay? So that's what I did. This was the first card I got. I got this card um, like three and a half, almost four years ago. And then I moved on to other cards. So as you can see, there's no annual fee. Um, it makes absolute sense that there's no annual fee because you don't need to be paying another fee if you're interested in getting a secured card. So I'll just kind of scroll down and show you guys the website here. Um, okay, so on the left side, it says required security deposit, $49, $99, or $200. And this is refundable based on your credit worthiness. So what happens is once you apply for the card, you're going to be paying either $49, $99, or $200. And once you do that, um, when I did it, I actually paid $49 and my initial limit was $200. Okay, so this card is a little different than other secured cards in that you're not actually putting down exactly what your credit limit will be. Like with my Discover card, I put down $1,200 initially and my credit limit was $1,200. And then I came back and put down another $1,300 and my limit is now $2,500. So this one's different. This one's a little uh, easier to get started. Like I said, $49, $99, or $200. So your initial credit line is going to be $200. No matter how much the deposit is, if the deposit is $49, your credit line is still going to be $200. If your deposit was $200, your initial credit line will be $200. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, this is what I like a lot about the Capital One Secured Card is the fact that you have access to a higher credit line automatically after five months of making payments on time, right? So it says access a higher credit line, get access to a higher credit line after making your first five monthly payments on time. And that's exactly true. I experienced exactly that. After five months, they bumped my credit uh, my credit line up from $200. Um, I don't remember if it was 500 or a thousand. Um, this was quite a, quite a while ago. And so I'm not sure what the details are anymore. I don't wanna lie and say, oh, it was a thousand dollars. But um, whatever it was, they bumped it up 
and um, after a while I actually um, got up to fifteen hundred dollars and I kept using the card this was the only card I had um, and then they eventually bumped me up to three thousand dollars and right now I'm actually at three thousand dollars on that card um, I went from this card to the Capital One Quicksilver card uh, and the same kind of process they kept marketing to me like crazy in the mail and I just eventually applied for the card um, and on that card I actually have a seven thousand dollar credit line which is really awesome because the, the more credit that you have as far as your credit line is concerned um, the better your credit score can be and I talk about that in another video as well um, as a matter of fact guys please make sure you go to my channel and watch my videos um, there's some good information there and more importantly the information's all free okay so um, yeah the Capital One secured card is the way to go just because you don't have to come out of pocket with all that money right off the bat you know um, I, I'm not a lot of people are able to just spend twelve twelve hundred dollars to get a secured card the way that I did you know but I was just being really aggressive and I really was trying to max out my credit line which is why I did that okay so um, that's pretty much it guys Capital One secured card is the way to go um, especially if you're looking to rebuild credit there's no need to like pay other people to do it you just need to get informed about what credit is and what the credit score is and how it's comprised and I talk about that in my other videos as well um, anyway I'll see you guys back live in just a second thank you so much for watching this video if you have any questions about secured cards or how to rebuild credit please feel free to leave a comment below and I will get back to you as soon as I can I look forward to helping you um, because I was able to help myself first so this is really cool because I'm able to speak from my point of view, which has helped my own credit score. And I'd like to do the same if possible for as many people out there. Uh, it's, I'm not charging anything. This is a free service, right? I'm just making videos on YouTube, sharing the information. So thank you so much for watching the video. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much again for watching. Until next time, take care and be blessed. Peace.